Brum, brum, brum. Hey you guys, how are you? Hope that you are super fantastic. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of laughing because I don't really have a script or anything like that. I usually don't have a script, but like now it's just more apparent to me than ever. Like, oh, hey dude, you don't have a script. I'm just looking in the camera and I'm just laughing at myself because it's beautiful. So <laughs> the sky is so beautiful, guys. Oh my God. How are you? I don't know if I've said this yet. It's your brother, Paul. And I hope you guys are doing epic. Okay. So, wow, that was way better than the first start. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, there's this book now. This book, it's a legendary book. Okay. It's called Psycho-Cybernetics. It's basically... Let's give a moment of silence for this intro. Drum roll. It is the Bible of self-improvement books. Okay, read my lips. It's the Bible of self-improvement books. Why do I say so? Okay. This dude who wrote the book, Cybernetics, Psycho Cybernetics, his name is Maxwell Maltz. Okay, his name is Maxwell Maltz. Okay. So... What it's about is he spoke about how everything, essentially, one of the things, the, the gold nuggets you can gleam from this book is everything is mind, okay? Um, he probably didn't even say that. <laughs> this is me putting words <laughs> in the dude's mouth. Um, pause. I don't think it's necessary to say that. Anyway, why did I say it then? Okay, so... Okay, so he spoke about something that really caught my attention. And I think anybody who's like reads, reads a lot of books. At that time, I was reading quite a couple of books. And so this thing caught my attention. I think it would catch anyone's attention if you're reading, looking for gold nuggets and shit and glory. He said, thinking of the highlights, going through the highlight reel or making a highlight reel of the best moments in your life right and just adding to that fucking reel okay a reel is like a, a thing you know in the <laughs> in the movies back in the days right I th maybe they have it still today i don't think so though but they had like these tape things right guys and they would be like a uh, tape thing and then there's like the pictures and it's rolling on there and then they play and light shines through it right so that's a, a movie reel for those who might not be familiar with such an item so <laughs> You already have a lot of awesome moments, right? Already have a lot of awesome moments. And what he said is to go through these awesome moments in your mind, right? And what this does is it sets up your subconscious mind to create almost like divine interventions where you just so happen to come across even more similar events, such as the ones that you've been reciting to yourself in your cerebral. Cerebral. I'm using big words here. I'm using big words. Cerebral. Okay, and uh, big people. <laughs> so um, this is this also kind of touches on the power of gratitude. You know, um, I think Russ, the the famous rich superstar musician dude, I think he said that he said in one of his lines like celebrating what we want to see more of, right? Celebrate what you want to see more of. Um, and I can vouch for this. This has been the case for me too when I celebrate things that I really like like I seem to get more of that stuff so um, here's the exercise that I'd like us to do okay get present Here's the exercise okay I'm gonna mention some something that I'm thankful for right to the universe something that I enjoyed um, and that perhaps I would enjoy experiencing another shot another pouring another event like that right <laughs> so I'm gonna say mine and then you say yours after I say mine because I'm gonna pause a bit after I say it okay so it's basically getting it into your subconscious mind right and if you type it out in the comments it'll probably be even better for you because then you're like you're taking the time there's like muscle memory and neuro stuff it's aligned anyway I'm also just trying to get you guys to comment but okay <laughs> 
So, yeah, let's begin. So, one thing that I'm thankful for. Um, pretty recently, I'll just start with some small stuff, small recent stuff. Um, I, I was walking, I'm thankful to God for this. So thank you God for <laughs> yesterday or last night, I was walking through the shop with my brother and there was this blonde chick from the resident area next door. I assume she's from there. She was walking with one of her friends. And as I was walking through the shop, um, past her, she was like, just like gazing at me deep in my eyes. Like just like walking, like not like when a girl walks towards you and she's not like looking past you or something or not trying to make eye contact. She was like staring me right in the fucking eyes. And I was just like smiling at her and she was like, how do you say like when a girl's like turned on? She had like that type of thing. And then we just greeted and stuff and I complimented her. She like ate it up. And um, <laughs> she ate it up. That was a pleasant experience. Um, okay, so you guys can put in something. We'll start with something small. Like there, I just said something that was really small. Um, so you can type in something or just verbalize it. Give you a couple seconds for that. Yeah, I think I'll summarize my stuff a bit more. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to do something bigger now. Okay. Some time ago, I, uh, I'm thankful for this experience where I performed for about a couple thousand teenagers at an event called Imagine, which was really cool. Yeah, I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful. That was nice. That was like really a great experience. Like just seeing everybody around, everybody cheering for me. Everybody, people, dude, it was really nice. It was really nice. And um, buses of girls screaming for me. So that was really nice. Like a, literally a truck drove past and there was girls like, ah. And then some of the dudes are calling me Justin Bieber. Okay, so thankful for that. <laughs> okay, you can share yours. We're getting this to our subconscious, okay? Getting this to them. I want to share something that makes me feel really good. I want to be thankful for something that makes me feel really good. But hey, 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 it should be just a giving, I suppose. Just a giving. Okay, um, I'm going out tonight, by the way, going, I've been invited to a youth, a youth group type of thing. So I'm going to be there enjoying myself with young people, which is always fucking fun, especially when they have good energy and when they already know me. So that's really awesome. Um, another one. Okay, you've probably lab named a couple of stuff. Um, I'm thankful for my body. I'm thankful for my body. I'm thankful for all the girls that just drip when they walk past me from the vagina. Or that they ju they just super fucking turned on by me. And all the eyes that I get now because of my body. And I'm super fucking thankful for that. Another thing I'm super thankful for, I know. I gave you guys a bit more time there, so I'm going to put two in, okay? <laughs> Another thing I'm thankful for is my presence. My level of awareness has gone up now. So, I'm pretty fucking thankful for that. Thank you, God. It's pretty cool. So I can keep my mind, my mind quiet and just be here in the moment, here with you. I actually look forward, I actually, I would actually like to read like your guys stuff, like what you're thankful for. I would actually really like to read it. Um, I'm thankful for finding Justin Aguirre's channel, like Justin Mock, Justin Aguirre, he inspired me so fucking much, he's such a huge inspiration, thank you God for him, um, another thing I'm thankful for, thank you God for Jason Capital, and the huge impact he's had on my life, and that Justin's had on my life, <sighs> I remember, dude, fuck man, it's really a huge impact that he's had, like really fucking 180, kind of like the impact Brandon Carter had on my life as well, with my muscles, and stuff he had like that effect on my game like the effect that brandon carter had on my life with my muscles like he helped me get my gains the same way jason capital helped me with my game and like understanding social stuff um and justin mark also helped me with that stuff 
And shout out to Eckhart Tolle for teaching me about being present. Shout out to you, Eckhart Tolle. You're a fucking awesome dude. <laughs> let's go guys let's go say the stuff you're thankful for say the stuff you're thankful for i'm going at like um i'm leaving here at about half past five half past five i'm gonna probably oh i'm probably gonna get ready at half past five and leave before six the church is just up the road here so yeah yeah okay i'm thankful for the love that i have for myself and when I go into shops or when I meet people, I just have this love for everybody in general. And it just reverberates. And I love it. I, I feel the love when I meet people. And I'm thankful for that because that means the world to me. That really means almost everything to me. That is really a lot of awesomeness. So I love you guys. And may you feel the love through this fucking screen. Oh. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Peace. Oh, we still have some time. We have a little bit of time left. Okay, say what you're thankful for. Come on, man. I'm listening. More ears. More ears. Oh, you're thankful for my channel? Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're thankful for my channel? Oh, my God. Such a, such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that, really. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. <laughs>